Luke, the 14th chapter, verse 15. And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these saying, he said unto them, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A great man made a great supper and bid many and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden come for all things are now ready and they all would one consent begin to make excuse the first said unto him i have bought a piece of ground i need to go and see it i pray thee have me excuse the other said, I have bought a yoke of oxen. I, I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. Another said, I have married a wife. He glory to God. What? He has married a wife. I have married a wife, and therefore I'm, I cannot come. So the servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then a master of the house, being angry, say to the servant, Go out quickly into the street, the lane, and the city, and begin in hinder, hinder the poor, and maiden, and halt, and blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as doors commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that they may, that my house may be filled. For I said unto you that none of those men were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitude with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and children and brethren and sister, yea, in his own life, he cannot be my disciples. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciples. My message today is, and glory to God, excuse now, you are left behind. Excuses now, you are left behind. Now I must make this, glory to God, correction, which people have used excuse of saying that Jesus Christ, hey, glory to God, are hypocritical, or Jesus Christ has made a contradiction. In the verse number 26 say, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brother and sister, yea, in his own life cannot be my disciple. Now Jesus was not talking about a literal hate. He was talking about a teaching. He was talking about a custom. He was talking about their heritage and or their culture. He was not talking about the hate your mother and hate your father. We will talk about that, my friend, because a lot of people have used excuses of why they're not a Christian because their father, their mother, and their wife, and their children, and their brethren, and their sister, and his own life. You cannot be my disciples. So just as we're talking about the teaching, the culture, Amen. You know, talk about it in a, in a heritage or the ancestry train of becoming Jesus Christ's disciple. So, well, let's get back to the, the main reason why I'm bringing forth this message today. I did a part one. Part two is excuses now. You are left behind. Now, we see that how this servant have, have bid three men. A glory to God, and all consent began to make excuse. The first, let's examine each one and see where they're telling the truth, or they're just making excuses of not coming to the supper. 
So let's carry the, the first one on the stand. The first one said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground. Now, if you bought a piece of ground, and he said that I must need go and see it. Now, if you bought a piece of land, you should have been already saw it. Amen. If you buy it and see later, later, that means that it's on you and there's no refund. Because you should have saw it first and buy it second, then you'd be satisfied. So that's the, that's the first lie. This man has lied that he bought a piece of ground and must need to go and see it. I pray. He said, I beg thee, have me excuse. So this man lied about not coming to the wedding feast, the great supper. He go to God. And the second person, he said, I and he said, I bought a five yoke. He said, I buy I buy five pairs of oxen. And I go to prove them. Now, if you already bought oxen, why do you need to go and prove them? Why do you need to go and see that they are lame or they are healthy? You should have done that in the beginning. A person that goes to car dealership, you don't buy the car and see the and see the car later or test drive the car later. You want to test drive the car, you want to see if the car in top shape, then you purchase a car. So the second lie of this man, amen, or person, he have lied that he bought an oxen and go to prove them. I pray thee have me. So the second lie. Now this third person, this third man say, and they never say, I have married a wife. And therefore, I cannot come. Now, he didn't have an excuse. His excuse is that he was married. And the Bible say, my friend, you act like you're not even married. He glory to God. So, so this verse of scripture, 26, say, If any man come to me and hate not his father, his mother, and wife, and his children, and brethren, and sister, yea, in his own life, cannot be my disciple. So Jesus was talking about when people start making excuses. One man in the book of Luke is saying that I must go bid, I must bury my father. And and Jesus Christ said, let the dead bury their dead. So if you're listening, to my friend, excuse now. That's why you're left behind. And a lot of people are making excuses of why they why they're not Christian. They're making excuses of why they can't read the Bible. Make excuses why they can't pray. Make excuses why they can't concentrate on God because they have excuses. My friend, and the Bible say, when they, when they make excuses, he told a servant, he say that so they so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to the servant, Go quickly to the street and leave of the city and bringing in hither the poor, the mean, and the halt, and the blind. So the people that was healthy, they don't want to come. But Jesus Christ said, go out. The master said, go out quickly to the city and bend in all those that are afflicted, the poor. That's why the church, the purpose of the church is not for people that are righteous, people that's unrighteous, people that are sick, my friend. They need to see the Savior. And what happened in verse 22? And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast com commanded, and yet there's room. The purpose of being a Christian is not about speaking in tongues, shouting, dancing. It's not about self-righteousness. It's about you going to compel men to the kingdom of God. The Bible says, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. So our purpose is to lift up Jesus. Him and I wear hats. And my hat is a witness to people that are lost. My hat is to tell somebody that Jesus Christ is still saving. I, I, I made a hat, my friend, that the Bible still, still saving souls. Amen. I got a Bible to say that try Jesus and not Satan. I got a hat to say Jesus, hallelujah, Christ saves. I got a, I got a hat to say don't go to hell. Another hat, my friend, say hell awakes the wicked. And the reason why, my friend, because I might not can't witness to you, but I want you to wear my hat. 
Hey Amen. I might not care witness to you, but my friend, the hat on my head has been a witness to tell you that there is a God. So what's your excuse of not coming? What's your excuse of not saying amen? What's your excuse of not glory to God accepting, believing, confessing, and being delivered from Jesus, from, from your sin? Amen. Hallelujah. One message is excuses now. That's why you are left behind. My huh, friend, if you are left behind, you will be like a people that people glory to God. That's it. in the Revelation, the ninth chapter. Amen. But the book of Revelation talk about people that could be left behind, my friend. And the Bible say, the Bible say, and the Bible say, and the great same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were were slain of men seven thousand, and a remnant were frightened and gave glory to the God of heaven. And the second war is passed, and behold, a third war cometh quickly. And the seven angels sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdom of our Lord, and is Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the Bible says, and the, and the fourth and twenty elders were set before God on their seat, fell upon their faces and worship God saying we give thee thanks O Lord God Almighty which art and was and art to come because thou hast taken to thee the great power and have reigned and the nation were angry and their wrath is come and a time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto the servant, the prophet, and to the saint, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was open in heaven, and there was, was seen in this temple the ark of his testimony. And there were lightning and voices and thunder and earthquake, and great hell. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, stop making excuses and come to Jesus right now. You are, you have no excuse. Your excuse can be a glory to God, be a point for you to come to Jesus. But my friend, you, you have no excuse of, come, of going to work. You have no excuse of having sex. You have no excuse of drinking. You have no, no excuse of smoking weed or smoking J or smoking ganja. You have no excuse of having a baby, but you don't have the you have excuses of not coming to Jesus Christ.